Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about storing your Series 2 Snowway Plow. In this particular one, I am showing you how to put away a, a V plow. Now, with the V plows, you got your cylinders exposed. So, you, you want to make it so the least amount of exposure is on the cylinder. So, first thing I want to do is disconnect your plow. By disconnecting your plow, pull your jack pin, your, your jack handle, jack stand. And then also pull the cam handle. This needs to be done on both sides. Once you've rotated your jack stand and pulled your cam handles, if you have a deep plow, like I say, once the jack handles are down, you need to pull your wings back. Now you can rotate your plow off of the cradle. Once your plow is out of the cradle, disconnect the wiring. Then take your dielectric grease. Grease your main power wire. And then make sure that you put your caps on. On both the vehicle side and on the plow side. Your control wire, same thing, put dielectric grease in there. Put your dust cover on. Same thing with the plow. Put the dust cover on both of them. Now that we got dielectric grease on both the vehicle side and on the plow side, I'm now going to back away the, the vehicle. All right, now that we have the plow dismounted from our truck, uh, one thing to keep in mind is when you're storing like a, a 26R or 29R, the blades, I would like them on the outward position. That way you have the least amount of exposure on the, on the cylinders right here showing. So on this particular one, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grease all the moving parts and, and the cylinder. So we're going to start out with the angle cylinder and the bolt right there. And actually both sides of that angle cylinder bolt. Another thing we want to do is grease the cam handles. Operate them. When you store it, store it in the closed position. The only thing we want to lubricate is the jack handles and that little pin so it don't rust up on you. Down here we got the lift cylinder. So you want to lubricate the pin here and put a nice even coat of grease on the lift cylinder part that's showing. On the passenger side we also got the cam handle here that we want to grease up. Operate it a couple times, and then again when you store it, store it in a closed position. On this side as well, we got the jack stand that I want lubricated up. We also got the angle cylinder on this side. And the, and the pivot bolt. On top here, on the, on the trip springs, I would like these bolts lubricated so they don't rust up on you. This is where you make your, some of your adjustments. So we just want to make sure that that's nice and lubricated. Uh, if you look at the front of the V-Plows, the tower, 
You got the pin that goes down in front, so I would like that lubricated at all the joints. Once that's all lubricated, your plow is now ready to be stored. Okay, once we have your snow plow ready for storage, Snowway does offer a plow parka, it's called. It's a 9910-1213, which covers up all the electrical and the hydraulics in the front of your plow. I'm gonna demonstrate on how to put it on. This is what it looks like. Put one end over. Put your light bar. Grab the other end, flip it over. That's what it looks like. On there is also a bungee strap that you can just wrap around underneath your frame here and connect it into the other eyelet that you got on this side here. And there you have it. Your plow will be uh, protected better from all the UV rays and all the water.